Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, so Cheers. today I'm going oh to God. talk Cheers. about my favorite. Let's shoes. get some shits. The Let's reason being shoes. just because in Let's New York we go through Let's so many shoes. shoes and shoes. I think that you know shoes. it's something that can make oh your outfit shoes. really it can make it shoes. or break it. These shoes rule. So it's important to have a good variety and I'll just show you and tell you why and what I have. Let's start with my one of my most recent purchases. These great net babies. I love them so much. Um, so this is a velvet booty. They're olive green as you can obviously see. Um, and they have a zipper on the side with this little ring, which, which is actually their signature. So I'm actually really excited about these guys because they're launching in the US for fall winter 17. And some people already jumped on the bandwagon when they were on Mode Operandi, but you'll be able to find them in many stores in August. The reason why, why I like these boots, I like the heel height. I like that it's a very stable heel. Again, in New York, we walk around a lot. So when you want to dress up and not just wear sneakers all the time, it's nice to have a boot that has a little bit of a heel, but it's not too high and it's just comfortable, something that you can wear all day long from the train to the office and be in office all day. Yeah, heel height is very important. So I like these boots because it's a really nice one. It's just about maybe two inches, three inches. I'm not American, so I don't know inches that well, but yeah. Then I have my other velvet boots, 100. You probably see me wear mostly when it's like a special occasion because the heel is a little higher and the velvet seems a little bit more pristine. So they're definitely not something that I'll just wear and tear every day. I wore them to a wedding with like a nice red dress. I wore them to our open house party. They have this shiny heel, which I think is a really fun touch. You can buy 100 at Torokayo and Essence, which Essence is like definitely one of my faves. And so is Torokayo, so if you're interested. These guys were 450. It feels like it's a little bit on the pricier side, but again, they're so special and because you don't wear them all the time, I feel like I'm gonna have them for a long time, you know? They're always gonna be that to-go boot when I just need to get dressed up, need to get ready quickly, and then something like this can really make an outfit count, right? Like these ones have been my joy of fall, winter, 16. They're Mergella, and I actually have not owned like a designer shoe like that before. So it was a new thing for me to really invest. But to be very honest with you, I didn't invest that much because I bought them on sale on Essence. Again, Essence got up. I really love that store. But the, originally they were $900 and I was able to find them for $357. It was really, really great. I'm definitely wearing them a lot. I've had them maybe two months now. And they're quite worn in. But I like the way that they're wearing. I'm just think the texture is just changing and they'll have like a really interesting character and look. The heel height is really good. It's funny how when you buy a designer shoe like this, you kind of understand why they cost that much. They're a lot more comfortable than I expected. And the shape is, of the heel is kind of interesting. So I was a little nervous. So I didn't know if they're gonna be very stable, you know, just easy to walk in, but they are. And this will be my boot that I will always wear with my um, vintage Armani jeans. I wear them every single day. I did purchase this pair of boots from Zara. I feel like I'm very weary of buying things from Zara just because I know um, how hard like small independent designers are working. I know how much goes into the production and the design and trying to compete with 
with bigger retailers like Zara that can sell their clothing for less. So it's always really, really hard for me to go and get something, but it is tempting just because of the price. And these little guys that are very obvious Balenciaga copy <laughs> were only $50. So I just couldn't pass them up. I used to have boots like this in white, and they were thrifted, they were vintage, and I was so done when I put them out. Like maybe, I don't know, a year ago? I'm still kicking myself, because then I would just have my vintage boots and wouldn't have to go to Zara to get these ones. And the ones that they're for uh, vintage, they're actually white, so they really look like the Balenciaga ones. But here I am, and to be honest with you, they're comfortable, they were only 50 bucks, and it was just like an easy purchase that I didn't really have to think about, besides the fact that I couldn't sleep because I was doing something unethical. As you've noticed, all the boots that I've shown so far, they have heels, so I do really like wearing heels. They make you look more feminine, and I love wearing like kind of tomboy clothes too, so it's like a good um, combination, you know, just makes it look interesting. But then we all do need something that doesn't have a heel and it's just like really sturdy. And those will be my Frida Salvador Chelsea boots. They're really good quality, they're made in Spain. I trust things that are made in Spain, they're like in a family owned factory, it's actually like father and son working in the factory and again they're like a pair that is wearing it really nicely and it's a classic style you know it's like you always have a Chelsea boot so I'm really happy to have these and just I know that they're gonna last me for years again you know and then last but not least because I wear sneakers all the time I just purchased two pairs of Nikes. I have these little tan ones. I actually really wanted a pair of tan Nikes last summer, but I don't know, I was just ahead of them and they didn't have a pair of tan Nikes at that point. So now um, there's actually quite a few options. So if you're into that, uh, I think there's also tan brachas. Super easy. I'm excited. I haven't. I have only worn them once so far, just because the weather hasn't been appropriate yet. But I'm excited for like when spring comes. You know, when your wardrobe is just lighter. Sometimes it's nice to have like a nice light shoe. Like a black shoe would really just weigh it down. It just doesn't look right. So it's good to have a tan neutral. I also really like how they kind of look vintagey to me. I don't know. Like the maybe it looks a little vintage. There's a little bit of suede on the side. And then the ones that I'm wearing right now, take it off. That I'm wearing every single day are my branches, black ones. They're amazing. What can I say? They're really, really good. I'm always amazed by how Nike, like, they just know how to make like a really, really comfortable shoe. This part, it's almost like wearing a sock. They're really, really light. And I love how they kind of look like out of space a little bit. I don't know. Right? They're like a little space shoe. I think mean, they're really funny looking, but I love that. They go well with like dresses, you know, that's that's again another one. So we'll wear something tomboyish with my heels, and then I'll wear something really feminine. Like the other day, I wore this flowery Ghani dress so pretty but it's like a little princess dress that I would never wear but I paired it with Nikes and like a little sweater um, and it was super cute. It worked out so these guys are gonna get a lot of wear in here. Especially because I also have a 14 minute walk to Subway every morning to come to the office so you know those days you've stayed out late a little too late maybe then you just want to throw on your nikes and schlep to the train it's great life is good again like the reason why i wanted to talk about shoes is just because it's been so fun to develop a little collection i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any questions about where to get them or maybe you know what i'm really struggling with is 
shoe care since you so if you have any good tips on how to take care of your shoes i would really really appreciate it okay